tutorial we will learn how to bounce a ball across so first we need to create our ball let's just make this orange I guess and this one black okay it's pretty circle in my eyes but uh, let's see so what we want to do is to see this ball bounce like this so but the problem here is we only have one frame so what we want to do is duplicate this frame such that once we drag this down we have the first frame here where it's where the ball is coming from and then it, it's now down on the floor and then we duplicate the frame again so we can bounce it back out across so that's basically three frames bouncing off or at least across now what we want to do next is let's just turn this on toggle onion skin in which you can see where the ball is going to and then let's just fill this in with like uh, what they call twin or in between so now we have this animation and of, of course it's still lacking we just need to add more like that perhaps I guess perhaps one more here um, let's see duplicate frame so this is the process that I'm gonna do over uh, like several times and now let's focus on the bouncing up let's just watch the bouncing down how it looks so we press timeline and then play Boop. okay so as you can see we need to put in between frames on this part so same process duplicate so another one and another one Okay, let's see if how that looks. So you get the bounce. Let's just remove the onion skin for now. So play, boom. Okay, uh, we're not yet ready to export because we have nine frames. What we have is 12 frames per second. So we just want to export 12 frames just to have that one second animation. So let's put back that um, and perhaps we could add some more like fine tune the movement like perhaps we can add one more here duplicate so I guess I'll just move this here and this one move it a little here and that would also mean you need to move a little there okay and then perhaps we can move, make this like squeeze a little um, something like this um, duplicate like something like that so it would look like it squeezed before jumping back up and it seems we need to put the, or at least drag this a little lower put a little fill in here one okay does that look good mm, I guess so so that's our animation we have 12 frames we can start exporting it so let's just name it uh, bouncing ball bouncing ball and then save you can see here it's exported to this path which is this folder and there you go let's just see if we can watch the video if it's playing as expected there you go right, one more boom okay um, another is if you are a web designer somehow and you want it to be 
animating on the HTML file. Let's say bang, simple, bang. simple. So again, see. So it's it is an HTML five uh, file. It's an HTML file basically that uses canvas. So there you go. You can compare the file size. It's a 7 KB versus the 71 KB. Of course, uh, it's not that big for now, but um, some other animations, uh, this could really bloat into like megabytes of file. So this is still um, feasible when doing like web uh, advertisements. So as you can see, um, this is just a JavaScript using the canvas so, and there you have it um, bouncing ball animation with cage studio thank you um, see you in the next tutorial